another book review. This book is also a U.S. born book. I love U.S. born books because they all have colorful illustrations and pictures and they all come with internet links. So it's easier to understand. So the book I am going to be reviewing today is this one. The U.S. born illustrated dictionary of facts. I let me open the strands and you ran like this one. It, the topic is area formulae, the formulas of area. So it here is to some some sentences about what area is and stuff. And here are boxes given that have different shapes in them and then they have the formulas of them and information related to the shapes let's say we have uh, a square it says here like the area of a rectangle the area of a square is found by multiplying its length and width so here it has um the area area is a, is equal side multiplied by four like for example this is five you multiply this by four so this is a really good book but in all the u.s born books i face this problem that the writing is too small and you just get a headache while reading that small handwriting so I would like to say to the U.S. born company that please make the writing a little bigger. I'm not saying that the content content is bad or anything. I love the content and stuff, but just that the writing is too small. So, so it happens to me a lot that I don't understand something in my course book or get bored of what is written in the course book because my course book is very boring. Uh, so I just open this book up and it helps me with most of the things. Lastly, I would like to say that this is not a sponsored video. This is purely my own review. And if you want to get cheap books, cheap and good books, you every Sunday before the lockdown, there used to be um, a big Sunday market in Lahore, Islamabad, and Pindi. So you can get good books with a low price over there. So that's it for today.